Hi, I'm Rebecca Field, and for Kristen Volk on this Wednesday, the 16th day of April 2008, with your UPI Top News Update. Pope Benedict XVI is in Washington, D.C. on a mission to energize the U.S. Catholic community. Earlier today, more than 9,000 people greeted the Pope at a White House ceremony. This evening, Bush will host a birthday party in Benedict's honor. He's 81 today. On his trip over to the U.S., the Pope chose to bluntly address the sex scandal within the Catholic Church, saying he's deeply ashamed by the action of the pedophile priests. The Pope is also likely to address the U.S.-led war in Iraq and the upcoming presidential election. Today marks the one-year anniversary of the shootings at Virginia Tech University. Last year, 32 students and teachers were gunned down on campus by fellow student Sung Wee Cho. Classes have been canceled today for fear of a copycat strike. The university is holding a number of events to remember those who lost their lives, including a ceremony this morning and a candlelight vigil tonight. A new poll out shows Republican presidential candidate John McCain is even with Democratic rival Barack Obama and narrowly leads Hillary Clinton. The two Democrats have gained ground on the Arizona senator nationally in the last month. Obama has gained six points recently to tie with McCain at 45 percent. Clinton trails her Republican counterpart by five points. Clinton and Obama will go head to head next Tuesday in Pennsylvania for the Democratic primary contest. Three people are dead from wildfires that have ripped through Colorado. The fires have scorched thousands of acres and forced hundreds of residents to evacuate. By last night, firefighters had contained 50 percent of the blaze. The fires apparently broke out after a wetter than normal winter, followed by a dry march. That's all for now. Check out a new segment on UPI.com called Too Elderly to Vote. Thanks for watching and have a great day.